Okay, this is the PLOTS Public Laboratory Spectroscope Project. And here we've got a setup where we are calibrating the spectroscope. The spectroscope here is being pointed uh, vertically upwards at a, um, a fluoro light. And that's producing the spectrum that you see on the screen. Going into the setup, we can adjust the Mercury 2 line, which is that line there, and the Mercury 1 line, which is that green line there. So now we've got those two lines, we can now use the spectroscope to see if we can identify the different solutions that I've made up in spray bottles, which are going to be injected into this Venturi spectroscope flamethrower and the idea here is that the Bunsen burner inside the two litre bottle has got a hole cut in it here so that the spray can be sprayed into here will get caught up and go through the venturi of the Bunsen burner and then be burned up here where we will detect it with the spectroscope. And Kelly's going to spray some sodium chloride into the aperture for us. We can see there that we get an immediate nice yellow flame. And that yellow flame is detected quite quickly and easily by the spectroscope. And we're detecting that really comfortably at 592 nanometers uh, after using the basic calibration. This was the first time we, we tried to use the plot spectroscope inside the classroom. Considering the spectroscope itself is a box with a cheap $5 webcam with some DVD plastic placed in front of the lens with an aperture lens at the front of the apparatus that we refine very slightly by placing a slit manufactured from two pieces of aluminium foil sandwiched between two microscope slides we've obtained fairly good resolution from it this is a fantastic initiative and it's a fantastic device uh, a normal spectroscope would cost uh, many hundreds of dollars uh, and this one is easy to use, very intelligently calibrated uh, and I'd be quite confident in giving it to students to use. In the future I think we'd refine the apparatus. We would use different bottles for different solutions so that we could avoid the problem of the sodium chloride uh, persisting inside the, uh, inside the Bunsen burner and interfering with all of the other measurements. And I think we would play around with the size of the aperture in front of the camera so as to allow maximum light. We had difficulty detecting the copper nitrate solution, for example. We got really, really good lines from iron nitrate, calcium nitrate, barium nitrate, uh, and unfortunately we couldn't get our hands on some strontium nitrate. We've also experimented with some uh, discharge tubes, um, sodium, uh, mercury and neon, and found some fantastic lines. A huge thank you to the PLOTS team for making this available and to Kickstarter for drawing it to, um, to my attention. Good luck to the team at PLOTS uh, and I hope that you succeed with your ambition of getting a, sp a spectral database online.